This winter, Golden Globe nominee Rebecca Hall makes her Broadway debut in the first ever revival of Sophie Treadwell's Machinal. We're here at the American Airlines Theater to find out more about this captivating drama. For those who are unfamiliar with the story or the play, what is Machinal all about? Well, it's a play based on the case of Ruth Snyder, who was a woman who in the 1920s uh, killed her husband. Um, and she became the first woman executed in the electric chair in New York State. So it's based on a very dark story. Um, and it is a play about a woman who ends up killing her husband. She's not particularly an extraordinary woman. She has a job, she has a husband, she has a child. Um, but ultimately, she sort of finds no comfort in any aspect of her life. The time between Ruth Snyder's execution and the time that Treadwell put the play into copyright is exactly four months. So there's a sort of immediacy and rawness and I suppose she wanted to demonstrate that this character, this you know, this person, Ruth Snyder, had been turned into a publicity sensation and a sort of demonized and but never had a voice. So she imagines what are the circumstances where an ordinary woman in an ordinary society that we live in, the way we live now, could be driven to commit murder. What do you love about Machinal? What excites you most about this show? I think um, the things it touches on and its hugeness. I mean, it's, uh, it, I mean, in many ways it's small and delicate, but in other ways it's universal and massive. This is not an old war horse. So this is not museum theatre. This is exciting. I love its sort of humanity and its honesty and the fact that it's stylized and expressive at the same time. There are bits of it which read like Samuel Beckett. You get the, uh, the feeling with this particular story and this way of expressing it that there's, there's no way you can not be affected by it. It's just powerful writing. Nobody in the play is trying to do bad things. They're basically decent people trying to do their best and yet because of kind of missed cues or narrowness of awareness about what it means to communicate with another human being, the pressure builds to the point of catastrophe. And, you know, you walk through Times Square and you feel the pressure starting to build. <laughs> and you're kind of like, at what point is catastrophe? So it's good every now and then to be reminded. You just need to connect, you know, with yourself and with the other person. <laughs> When the show opened in 1928 on Broadway, there were critics who said it would be just as vital and vivid a hundred years from now. Why do you think they were right? Because of the universal issues, it taps into the collective, into a collective, the collective unconscious, the collective conscious, and it also taps into um, where we are in terms of the women's movement today. You know, sometimes you read something that was written 20 or 30 years ago or 80 years ago and you think the world is, is only more like this. Like we, we have only become, we have only gotten deeper into this hole. We haven't moved all that far since the massive changes at the beginning of the last century, social, socially, in terms of the way we all relate to each other in society. And I think we forget how close we are to those changes. And maybe we haven't quite got them figured out yet. And maybe we haven't quite figured out how to deal with that stress yet.